I want to talk about fashion crimes that we make. <laughs> so the first crime is overdose of patterns, right? Yes, it's something that can be very tricky for oh. the real woman to do, so. All right, well we have a real woman, her name is Lindsay. She wanted help being bold <laughs> but appropriate. She loves leopard, but she wanted to upgrade her look for work, but she doesn't want to look boring. That's her before, <laughs> leopard overload. All right, Lindsay, bring, let's bring Lindsay out. So we <laughs> Hi. Lindsay, so the thing with doing print. You look great, Lindsay. Lindsay's going, getting into another job, right? You're going, you're, you're starting a new, in, in, into a new field. You could dress a little bit funkier at your old job, but you're, you're going into something newer, and yes. she needs to be a little bit more conservative. The leopard's great. If you're gonna do the leopard, you can mix two, like do a big leopard print with a small leopard print. Do not get crazy. Do not get crazy. <laughs> that sounds crazy. And anyway. the same you know, rule applies here. It's like if you're gonna ha mix prints, do a larger print with a small I print love print that. I love it. Course. What do you yeah. think? I love it. I would have never gone to a store, picked this out. My first instinct is to go to a store and pick out leopard. It looks great. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, so our, our next fashion crime that people commit is abusing neutrals? Yeah, yeah. Really, aren't neutrals just, how could you screw up with a neutral? Well, I think it's really all about what's flattering on your skin tone. So, so having a color, like a lot of people wear things that aren't necessarily flattering. So in my book, I talk about how, whether you're hot or cold, so you wanna pick up uh, a white piece of fabric, or, or you're basically saying no, you're clothing. neutral. Figure out what your neutral is. Yeah. <laughs> Melissa's here. She always wears neutrals, and she feels oh. washed out. All right. So there's her before photo. Let's see Melissa. <laughs> Woo! Wow. I mean. So red. Red. All right. Is... Red. Hi, Melissa. Hi. How... Well, how does it feel to go from neutrals to to red, which you're saying is neutral? It's amazing. I feel, I love it. This is different than anything I have in my closet and it's just, it's amazing. So you're done with this stuff. I'm done with that, yep. <laughs> well, and here's the thing about the, you know, the easiest tip really for me to give is if you're walking around one day and literally you're wearing you know, purple or red or whatever color it is and five, six, seven, eight people are like, you look so beautiful, that color's amazing on you, it's amazing, it's amazing, that's your color. Right. Like, look at her, she's ecstatic. I right. am, I love it. And I think, you know, she's, you're a mom. I, yes. So that wasn't, you know, fashion wasn't a priority and I think most moms don't wanna deal with, you know, color and matching things so they just, get a bunch of neutrals. And... Exactly, this reminds me of things that I used to wear before I had the kids and life got so crazy. And this just reminds me that I can still incorporate color into right. my wardrobe. Right. That's a great tip. But I think most people don't think about what looks bad on them. So you're right, look at the two, look at these two women. You look beautiful. <laughs>